A big issue what the companies have now, they just don't know enough about the condition of their sewage system. In the UK alone, the length of the sewage system is approximately 600,000 kilometers and the replacement value of many hundreds of billions of pounds. The importance of the technology is because uh, if the water company know precisely what's going on with the sewer pipes, they would be able to uh, maintain and rehabilitate these pipes, these pipes much more proactively than they're doing now. And that would result in much less flooding incidents, much less traffic disruption. So therefore, the next thing is actually the algorithms which are company developing. Not only fiber optic cable sensing, which is a patented technology itself, but also the algorithms which enable to process information in a way which gives uh, the companies knowledge of exactly what they need to know. What's amazing about this technology is that actually it is completely revolutionary. The current technology is based on spot sensors. They're normally installed in uh, combined sewer overflows. It's kind of chambers where the uh, water can flow into a river course if there is a sudden rise in the water level. So these uh, chambers are sparse. Therefore, the data which we obtain normally with this uh, uh, flow meters. They are also very sparse. So therefore, between uh, these nodes, we have no or little knowledge about the performance of the system. What Neuron proposing, it can go and completely revolutionize the way we get the data. So we'll be able to obtain data with the unprecedented precision resolution. Up to every five meters, we would know the flow velocity, flow death, and discharge. And also other conditions, for example, ability of the system to withstand the uh, structural loading from traffic and so on, cracks developing in the system and so on. So we would know where this occur and we know when actually the pattern of this uh, occurrence has changed so we can respond proactively. And that's a very attractive to water companies. One amazing element of this technology, and it's really revolutionary, so it's uh, very safe and not scary at all. Whatever we put in the sewer has no power whatsoever. It's just optical signal, basically light. So therefore, there is no need to worry about explosions and uh, so the uh, batteries and all this stuff which can potentially affect the system. So what's nice about this technology as well, it has been tried and tested in different applications. For example, in uh, geophysics, uh, oil explorations, in uh, civil infrastructure like piling and tunnels and so on. So therefore, it was possible to adopt all the good practices which existed and developed uh, for the other applications into this particular technology and make it very robust and safe to use. Both myself and a colleague, Kirill Horoshenkov, were approached by uh, Neuron about three years ago. Uh, we both got expertise of uh, flow measurement or defect and inspection measurement in sewers. Uh, so Neuron's technology being able to measure your uh, hydraulic parameters at all points within the network really is quite different. Uh, and the ability to collect so much flow data would allow water companies to really understand their systems and be able to control and manage them much better. The technology itself, I mean our current uh, sewer networks are basically uncontrolled. So they either work or they don't work or when they fail they fail and water companies then have to try and react to that after the event. I mean, in a sense, you've got a robotic installation system, so again, it gets rid of man entry. Uh, the algorithms are quite clever, allows you to really understand the flow characteristics at a, quite a, at a very high spatial resolution. Uh, the, the containment system, the hardware uh, allows you for it to be installed within your network or in all pipes or practically all pipes within your network. So it's a very pervasive technology. Uh, so it's really, really quite different from what we have at the moment. And the ability to collect information over hundreds of thousands of kilometers of assets is really, really quite uh, uh, similar to your nervous system, I suspect. Spot monitors measure at one point. Uh, and if they fail, you've got to go back and sort them out and things. So this idea of a sort of very, very small, unobtrusive sensor being installed in the base of your pipe, uh, allowing you to measure your uh, flow velocity and depth at a, practically any point within your network really, really is quite radically different.